Hi, welcome back to Canva Tips for Authors. In the Facebook group, we were talking about carousel posts on Instagram and TikTok and how to make them. So I'm quite new to Instagram. So this has been a, a quite a learning curve for me. So let's see what we can do. Now, what I wanted to do was a seamless post so that when people go from one to the other, there's some sort of flow to it. So you see, as you can see, this kind of rainbowy thing flows through. And then you, oh, that one there, and you go oh, that. Now this, this sort of seamless post with the flow is quite a fiddle to make. So what I thought we would do is use a template. So you go to the home and in this, this funky search bar, put Instagram seamless carousel. And you've got loads and loads and loads of choices here. Some of these aren't actually seamless. Um, they're just carousels, but you know, scroll through, find one that you like. As always, finding things is the hardest bit, right? So this one is a Instagram carousel designed by Diana Munoz, whose work I quite like. And, um, she has, she and her husband have a really, really good YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description. Okay. So we're going to do this. All right. Let's select that one and customize this template. Now this is a free template, which is great. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, this is about something completely different to what I want. So the first thing we're going to do is actually, I'm going to mess around with the colors because it's kind of pink and beige and I want the colors from my book cover. So let's go and find my book cover. While I'm scrolling through, I can tell you that I'm Jeevani Charika, romance author and women's fiction author and Canva nerd or Canvasador. And I help authors with their social media graphics so that they can use Canva better to market their books. There's Knowing Me, Knowing You, that's my book cover. Now what you can do is once you've added it to your design, I'm actually going to copy it and I'm going to paste it on each of the pages. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to right click it and it says here, apply colors to page. And it does see, let's do that again. I don't know if there's an easy one click way to apply it to all the pages. If you do know of one, let me know. Okay. So now we've got a color scheme that's more in keeping with my book, right? So what else are we going to say? This is going to be what readers are saying. Let's make it narrower. Let's make it smaller. And then let's make it narrower. And put the cover here and the words over here. Let's get rid of this. What readers are saying, knowing me, knowing you. And let's get rid of this as well. Okay. Now this blends into the background. So we go to edit photo. I'm just going to give it some shadow to make it stand out from the background. So let's have outline or glow. Glow is pretty good. All right, let's go for glow. There we go. And we need a little arrow. So we search elements. I've just found it in recently used. So we'll get this arrow twist it so that it's horizontal, move it, change the color of it and make it smaller. That just tells people that there's more and they have to swipe in case the little dots at the bottom are not obvious. Okay. Right. Let's get rid of this. Now then this, I want to change. And what I decided to do was to get rid of all the gubbins in the middle. 
I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to change it to Amazon Reviewer. Much, much smaller. Actually, let's change that to collective as well, which is the same font. Okay, Amazon Reviewer, maybe a bit bigger than that. And then I'm going to make this bigger and put my own quotes in. Okay. Now this, I don't like the color of, so I'm going to turn it to bright yellow which again blends into the background. So we're going to go and search for circle shadow. And choose that one, which makes it look like a button, which I like. All right, now what I have is I have a document in Canva, which just has loads of quotes and things. So we're going to go with this one. This is from one of my Amazon reviews. Every so often I go and poke around on my on Amazon and find quotes that I can lift off of it. I like this quote because that's pretty much what I was going for. And Tidy that up a bit. Amazon reviewer. Okay. Right. Now what I'm going to do is copy this button. Now there's bits of it that I want to copy and I don't want to copy the rainbow. So what I'm going to do is right click layers, show layers. And then we want the quote thing that says Amazon reviewer, the buttony bit and the circle. And we could group it. You don't have to, but yeah, copy. Now we're going to go and clear the decks for all of these. Get rid of all of this. Okay. And then we are going to control because we, we copied. We can now paste control V and Control V. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add another page because I want another review in here. Now you have to be a bit careful with the seamless patterns because if I add another one of these, right, you're going to get two of these next to each other and you're not going to get that feeling of flow. So what I actually need to do is make a copy of this one and that needs to go last. And then I need to swap what's inside it. So let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Ah, no, I'll get rid of that, that, and that. Move these guys down. And paste our little button thing back in here. Right, let's have a look. So that flows to the bottom there and down off the side. And then this thing, which has just appeared, flows like that. Yep, that works. And we're going to call change this to read now. You center it. And again. Give it a shadow. You could give it a more exciting shadow if you wanted, but oh no, what happened there? What did I do? Edit photo, shadows, glow, glow, that's what I wanted. Ah. 
And I think I might need to make the glow a little bit. Make the glow a little bit bigger. And increase the blur a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. And then what I'll go do is I will go and go to my document with all the review quotes and cherry pick some review quotes to put in them. And in Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier. I don't really know what the best way to display it is. Let's have a look. Okay, let's try this. Okay. What it is saying. I'm just looking at the rainbowy thing just to check that it's flowing properly. Yeah, okay. Right. Now, the problem is that you can't schedule this straight to Instagram from here because when you try it, it will only schedule whichever page you happen to be look settled on. So it'll just post it as a flat image, right? And you can't, um, I'm working on a desktop. So what I had to do was I had to close this to save it and then go on to my app on my phone. And after a bit of trial and error, I found that if I download it, I can then share to, to an app. So I downloaded it onto my phone and then I shared it to Instagram and it posted it as a story, I think, with six individual pages. Um, yeah, it's not perfect, but it is quite nice. The other way to do it is to save each of these images, each of these pages onto your phone. And then you can just go into Instagram or TikTok and just select them in the right order and post them. That works too. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please tell all your friends. Um, and if you are an author who wants to talk to other authors about Canva, uh, come and join us in the free Facebook group, Canva Tips for Authors. The link is in the description. If you want me to help you with your specific social media images needs, just email me rodabaxter at gmail.com or message me on any of my social media and we'll talk about what I can do for you. That's it. Thank you for your time.